I had a follower send, uh, post a comment asking about making a mop bunny. Um, these used to be, I, so I researched it, and they used to be popular back in the 80s and 90s. And um, Simplicity had, uh, you know, sewing patterns for them. And where you would have to sew the head and all that stuff. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to Coco and Allie. Thanks for joining. So we're not gonna do that part of it. We're, I, we're gonna cut this bunny off, the head off of this bunny. I know that sounds horrible, doesn't it? The first thing we're gonna do is attempt to cut this head off this bunny and I feel so bad. <laughs> I know it's not real, but it just doesn't seem like it's the right thing to be doing. The, the bunnies came from Dollar Tree, and the mop came from Dollar Tree. You can do a bigger one like I used on um, the mop angels that I made a while back, and you can get those um, like at Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere, or I can post a link for you for those. So, anyway, I'm just cutting along the seam on this bunny. There's a seam around its neck, and that's where I'm cutting. And it looks like it's stuffed with just normal, like, you know, normal stuffing. All right. So, I'm just going to try to, oh, yeah, that works perfect. See how I just shoved that head down over that, the top of it? And I'm just going to glue it on there with some hot glue, y'all. Um, so that I'm going to just take my glue and put a bead of glue, you know, on here, around here. Oh, see, that's what we have so far. That, that looks pretty good. Wow. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do, we are going to decorate up here so you don't see any black is we're going to make her little arms. And to make the arms, you just take um, two, you're going to take six of the um, mop strings. Six. And you're going to divide them into three sections of two and just do a regular braid. If you don't know how to braid, then surely you can twist and then just do two sections of three and twist it. When you get to the bottom, you're just going to tie it off. I'm going to use some twine. All right, let's see if I can find the beginning of, there we go, that was easy. So I'm just going to um, cut me a, a piece of this twine, and this I think came from Dollar Tree. You can get it, you know, at Dollar Tree or Walmart or um, or Hobby Lobby. You can get it anywhere. Okay. So, that's what you have. I just double knotted it, okay? And I'm going to cut. That's going to be one of her arms. I'm going to just trim this um, twine. And then I'm gonna make, you know, trimmer little hands to make them even. Okay. Um. After that, we're going to form, like, her body, her upper body. Let's see. I'm going to, um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to tie around her waist. Because I want it to, I want her to be beautiful. Okay, I think I'm going to use some of this lace.
And so you just decide where you want her waist to be. So see, she's got two arms now. And then we're going to make her a waist. And so just, you know, decide where you want the waist and then tie your, um, your ribbon around the waist. Okay. And then I'm going to put some more stuff so she'll have, you know, like streamers around her waist. And I made her waist too low. It doesn't need to be that low. Okay, so, whoops, let me fix the back side. Okay, y'all, I'm just digging through my ribbon and deciding what other ribbons I want to put around her, um, her waist. I'm just going to cut a few different ones. I've got these beads from Hobby Lobby. I've got the crochet ribbon. I gave y'all a link for um, that before. An Amazon link to show y'all that before. Um, but I can post it again if y'all want me to. Um, I'm going to use this little sheer ribbon. All right, y'all. So there's that. See how cute that is? And then I'm going to trim those. They're not, not going to leave them all so long. Where'd my scissors go? Oh, there they are. Okay. All right, so that's what we have so far. Now I'm gonna, um, oh y'all, she is so cute. I don't know if I wanna put a carrot in her hands or flowers. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to wrap a flower around it and then put a carrot in between, I think. So I'll have both. She'll have both. Oh, y'all, she's cute. She's cute. <clears throat> Let me get this real quick. You just put some glue on it and stick it on there. Right. Oh, y'all. She's cute. She's cute. And you just glue everything on where you want it. Look at that. Is she not adorable? And then let me figure out what I'm going to put around her neck so that you can't see the, the, um, the black. Maybe I'll do a piece of 
yeah that's what I'll do I'm just gonna take a little bit of this crocheted ribbon and oh my gosh that I couldn't do that again if I tried that piece that remnant that I had of a piece was exactly the length I needed and I'm just gonna um, glue it on here so it covers up all the black Oh, y'all, look at her. Is she not adorable? I just love her. So we're going to, y'all, if you're new to me, you don't know I'm silly, and I like to name everything that I make. We're going to give her a name. Start shouting out some names that I should name her. And I'm going to... um run get a name tag because or a hang tag because I don't think I brought one up here with me. Oh, I've got one right here. I'll just use the opposite side. All right. So her name's going to be Bridget. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to tie her. Well, I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller. It doesn't need to be this big. And y'all, I just coffee stain these hang tags. I love to coffee stain stuff. Um, and you just mix instant coffee with water and dip it in there and then let them dry. You can put them in the oven to dry or set them outside if it's a nice warm day. But that's her name tag, or her hang tag, I should say. And I'm just gonna tie it through her, um, tie it around her little wrist. Okay, and there she is, y'all. I think she turned out adorable. And yes, my camera is backwards to y'all, I know. So, that's little Miss Bridge. I hope y'all will try her, y'all. She is so cute and was so easy to make. I don't know how long we've been on here, but it hasn't been long. I hope y'all all have a great night, and um, I'll see y'all again soon.